Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Welcome to the Mighty Boo Joe. And continuing with Thanksgiving theme for November, I've got a week two for y'all with a cornucopia and a little later on in the video, Draco will be making an appearance. So keep an eye out for him. Now, before we get started, I thought I would show you how last week turned out. And if you're looking for a turkey to put in your own pages, you might want to check out that video because I show you how to draw one yourself. So let's get to it, shall we? Gonna put a cornucopia over here in the pretty much kind of the upper corner, not quite the corner, upper quadrant. And just gonna fill it with a bunch of fruits and veggies. Decided to experiment a little and I'm gonna have a companion video for this one and that will be a how to draw a cornucopia so in that other video this will all be slowed down a little bit faster than real time but not much and I will be explaining and giving pointers so if you're wanting a lesson on how to draw one then be sure and subscribe and keep an eye out for that other video it should be posted tomorrow fingers crossed and also I will be showing the numbers of the Tombas that I use and uh, talk about color blending so like I said keep an eye out if you're wanting to draw one or if you want to keep it in mind mark it for next year so I can't believe Thanksgiving's next Thursday I'm not ready I've got a, a meal to put on which I enjoy doing but yeah, I'm not quite prepared. So I'm hoping later on today to sit down with my book and finally do my planning pages. And of course, I will have to record it if I do it. So keep an eye out for that as well. Along with, it will definitely be Christmas spreads coming. Now, I started to outline this with the Faber-Castell medium point and realized it was way too thick. I was going to be losing a lot of the detail on the smaller fruits and vegetables. So I did switch over to uh, Le Pen 0 0.05, which was a much better choice for this small of an image. Or it's not necessarily a small image, but there are a lot of small details. There we go. And up in the corner, I had my lines going the wrong way, and yeah, I, I think I managed to fix it. That's what you gotta do. Now that that's done, I can finally set up my grid for the week. I am doing seven boxes, but it looks like eight. And by varying one, either making it extra big, or one goes smaller, depending on how my week is looking. I knew that, oh, and of course I goofed and forgot to leave that as one box. But I knew this week I was gonna have a slow day on Friday, so I didn't need that much space. So that's why it's laid out that way. And next, I think next week I did an oversized box, so that will come later.
Hey, now that Draco has had his fun and scampered off, I can get back to work. So down here, I've just got a little box for my holiday planning. And we're about to do some pretty big, major mistake recovery. And I'm not talking about that little line. That's a normal mistake. I've got a big one coming. So I wanted to add some color and draw some attention to this little box down here. And I goofed it up, didn't like what it was looking like. And the more I did, the worse it got. It kind of became a bad hair day. So after digging, I found this washi, which is a Thanksgiving one and a different foil one that luckily happened to be in the same shade. So I just did the magic washi trick, covered everything up and I think it turns out really good and I love the gold shimmer on it. So if you make these errors in your books and after you do it, you're like, why did I do that? Don't forget washi, it's your best friend. So anyway, there's my week and keep an eye out for the companion video on how to draw that cornucopia in detail. I hope y'all have a great one and I'll see you next time. Bye!